Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing by hitting the red button down below. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Louis Vuitton Adele wallet that you see right here. I'll provide you with some basic information on the wallet, show you the wallet fully packed up and ready to go, and lastly, provide you my thoughts on the wallet. So without further ado, let's get started. Here is the lovely Louis Vuitton Adele wallet. According to their website, it measures 8.5 inches across and four inches tall. This is the brown monogram canvas. And the interior is a lovely red that they call Coquelicot. They also sell this in a monogram with fuchsia interior. It currently retails on the Louis Vuitton website for $560. You could also purchase this in an all leather version. They have noir, which is black, and scarlet, which is red, and that retails for $735. The wallet features two zip pockets right here for coins or odds and ends type wallet items that you want handy that aren't necessarily cards. If you open the wallet up, you will see that this is actually one piece of canvas all the way around. And so these pockets are actually independent. They don't connect. It's not one big pocket. They're separate. So there's no worry of possibly the contents running into each other. You open it up and you see the Louis Vuitton made in France stamp right there. It features a magnetic closure that is quite strong. If you heard it right there, and you pop it open, close it again, and it'll close right up. You open it up and you've got 12 credit card slots right here, as well as a bill compartment right there and a bill compartment right there. Pretty straightforward and simple. Now what I'm going to do is load it up and show you how it looks when you've got all your belongings in there. All right, so here's the Adele wallet all loaded up. Let me give you a quick tour. Pop it open and you will see all 12 credit card compartments occupied. You've got bills on this side and odds and ends type stuff on this side, perhaps some cards that didn't make the cut for the first 12 spots here. Some stamps, should you carry those on hand. Unzip here and you've got coins right in there. And now in this compartment, this will be Perhaps a pleasant surprise to some people that aren't aware of the fact that the wallet can hold an iPhone. This is the iPhone 7 Plus and it fits in the Adele wallet right in there. Now, with that being said, I have to tell you that it fits in there without a case. The case on this particular phone is super, super thin, and I did try to put it in there and close it, and it did close. However, when I wanted to unzip it, it was not fluid. It was a bit of a tug of war. Not too bad, but not ideal. So if you have an iPhone 7, 8 Plus, the Max, you can put your phone in here, but without a case. And obviously if your phone is the smaller version, then you should be able to put it in here no problem. And perhaps depending on how thick that case is on your 7, 8, 10, or X, whatever you'd like to call that phone. You might be able to fit it in here with the case, but obviously that would be on a case-by-case -case basis. Pun absolutely not intended, but really, it really worked well there, didn't it? <laughs> so now I'm going to share with you my thoughts on this wallet. I think this is a lovely option from Louis Vuitton. In my opinion, I think this is one of their best full-size wallets. I mean, considering how much is in here, you've got 12 plus cards, including the ones that are in the bill slot, cash coins, you've got an iPhone plus in here, and look how slim it is. I think this is spectacular. You know, well done Louis Vuitton. I think it is amazing. It's a great wallet. I also like the possibility of perhaps, you know, attaching a gold chain to this ring that you see right here. Since it's so generous, I think you could attach a short gold chain and then wear this as a wristlet. And then that way it's even more secure. Now, with that being said, it is not entirely perfect in my eyes. There is one design flaw to me that I kind of wish 
I could go in and change myself. And that has to do with the credit card slots. So when you open it, you see that the slots are pointing down. So the cards will, you know, go down technically when you're opening them. And I don't like that. I don't like the possibility of, you know, these slots, should they stretch at all? You could run the risk of a card slipping out a little bit. Now, I don't think it'll ever be to the point that the card's gonna come flying out of any one of these slots, but I feel like it could possibly just become a little more forgiving and it might move a bit. And I don't like that. I think if they were to design it in such a way that when you open it, the credit card uh, slots are upward so that, you know, when you open it, it's like this. I think that would be better in my opinion, but obviously they had their reasons. My guess is to kind of keep it in line with the bill slot so that you're not, you know, holding it like this to get the card, but then flipping it to access the bill compartment. That would be my guess, but obviously it was not a deal breaker considering I own it right here. So I think this is a lovely option from Louis Vuitton, a great, great full-size wallet that can serve also as a clutch. And if you decide to attach a gold, little gold chain here, it could even be a wristlet. So that is it for this video. If you liked it, please do give it that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.